What's going on crew? Clawmaster here and this is the first episode of I want to say five more episodes after this regarding the behind the scenes look and thoughts on each of the episodic episodes I made uh, for the past month or two leading up to the big cancellation of my debut uh, in my also in my exploration of how to tell a story without using much assets at my disposal. So um, I'm going to be discussing the whole process. I'm going to be discussing my thoughts, seeing some footage, and maybe even pop up my uh, my uh, edits uh, as far as like why they're reasoning for some of these ideas and whatnot. So let's 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 not let's not wait on this. Let's begin our our first episode now. Uh, to start things off, I'll just play the entire episode, the first episode one, and just kind of talk over it per usual when it comes to these behind the scenes uh documentary type of uh videos so um i'm gonna play now okay so i i think where i want to start off with is um so my whole idea when it comes to when i debut when i enter the uh when i enter the the, the vtuber spear um one of the things i wanted to do is basically tell more of a story lore wise than i've seen other vtubers are doing right now uh one of the things i've noticed given my short time within the scene is that a lot of vtubers what they will do is they'll debut they'll talk about their lore on the first day and then they won't go back to it afterwards and they'll play games i mean to be fair a lot of the lore with a lot of vtubers are hey i got stuck in this world and i need to pay off debt or hey uh, I got stuck in this world and I need, and I just it's just want to play games to make friends and that's fine like I have no, I have no issue with that um, but like I haven't really seen much of anybody really kind of dive deep into much more of like you know what what can these characters can do like what you know is can there be a storyline that can be more, more uh, developed and kind of really branch off than just the usual thing because one of the things I one of the things that I really have seen uh, from my past time of streaming, before even VTubing, like, if you wanted to go on stream on Twitch and and play games, you know, that's that's fine. Um, but as someone as a viewer, like, I can I can watch any number of the high profile streamers and get that same thing uh, for what I'm looking for. So for VTubing, you know, it's very much the same idea what I'm seeing, but also I like the fact that the scene has been branching off and just been exploring new de new areas and new revenues in terms of how far can how far some a, a VTuber can take their character into whatever area or subject or whatnot. So um, there's some cool things happening, but it's still early on. This scene is very very early on, at least from my experience, from my knowledge so far. Um, that's a long way of me saying like, here's my thoughts on how I want to take this direction in my ep episodic series. So in that aspect, um, episode one, obviously it was just basically a, I'm not doing anything too fancy and not trying to get anything too complicated. Like the entire story of Clawmaster and just what these episodic episodes are, are basically a, a, a general uh, hero versus bad guy storyline, nothing too complicated and something I want to start off like simple first and then. And then after that, then I can really get crazy. And it's like, all right, what, what can I do with these characters now? Um, so essentially, the whole idea behind episode one of this uh, debut, I guess, per se, when it comes to the, the audio version, is basically, at this time, I didn't have the PNG uh, thing I'm using right now, actually. Like, I only had my logo and my voice and then my video editing prowess. So... What I end up doing is that um, I thought about, you know, how can I tell a story when it comes to, the thing, to these things that I want to explore? And I've been trying to figure it out prior to that, like at least a month or two. And I discovered like, yes, I could do this through um, audio. I can, I can like an audio book in some capacity. But as a, as a video editor in, in mine, like I, I myself have, um, um, I myself have more, uh, technical abilities to flesh it out not only use audio wise but you know visually as well 
So the idea behind episode one was Clawmaster is he is trying to communicate with the human world and is trying to talk to other people in regards to hey you know he's 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 born on, on the internet so he's to him like he has never interacted with anybody within the human world or in this world per se and uh he somehow found a way to channel whatever whatever things he has be it like through some technology he found or he actually is some kind of engineer and able to connect to the human world and have this audio broadcast so uh basically it was it, the whole point of this episode one was him like contacting the human world and like saying you know i'm i'm contacting you i i'm i'm a superhero in training um and this is my message to all villains who may be out there and like i'm gonna kick your ass <laughs> um so it was basically like just a kind of like almost like a promo almost if you think about it it's, it's very much like a wrestling promo for claw master and just like him just spouting out like you know you all ain't no shit <laughs> this i'm coming for you um and it basically just became that and it's just a, a way for him just to kind of introduce himself in in a way that i think he would because <laughs> he is a cocky motherfucker <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sugarcoat i'm not gonna sugarcoat it but Clawmaster as, as the character is just a cocky cocky son of a bitch um <laughs> and he's also he's a cocky son of a bitch but he has a heart so it, it's kind of the basis of what he is i mean like the whole point of the character i base it around it's like naruto but like just more cocky <laughs> so um but like yeah like he 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 is trying to communicate and he's trying to basically put the message out there saying like yes i'm here i'm trying to contact people within the, the human world and you know this is my message to all the villains as well like you know hey if you're out there trying to be evil i'm gonna kick your ass and that's pretty much like the main basis of episode one um so that's kind of like you know what the direction i'm going towards i'm not going to anything too complicated and you know some of the stuff when it comes to regarding like what i did in as far as like the the, the process of creation wise in you know adobe premiere pro after effects is simply like the the audio like uh you know obviously i recorded on audacity and i i don't i have a mixer here so like i did like change the voice when in the beginning when you hear it you know i'm saying uh, clown master saying hello um basically it's me going back and forth with the dial like left to right that's why it's why you hear on left to right in terms of, like me trying to communicate or clown master trying to communicate with you episode like in terms of like, effects and whatnot like um there really wasn't much else going on like i got some of this video background from uh on a website i'm subscribed to that gives me free stock footage uh so i got a, a kind of an interesting like red background to match the motif of all master's colors because he's wearing red armor red for the most part um and yeah like i in after effects i i, I got the audio spectrum uh, effect going on with the audio of my voice so that it visually tell what i'm saying along with the subtitle so really not much going on regarding to what effects i'm using that really would amplify this again the whole, the whole point of the episode one was to introduce the character introduce his intentions and just kind of um, like start a basic good versus evil storyline when it came to um and obviously one of the other things i do want to point out is using my normal voice because i I'm not a voice actor and I have filters which I ha did use for other voices in this entire series and in the future I definitely want to kind of hone in on that but for now no <laughs> um they're basically trying to get everything done for debut in the future but it was it just it was uh, something I um definitely have the like I have ideas and definitely something that I want to get more into in the future and you know with this episodic series it definitely was something that uh was interesting but also was a creative uh, obstacle for me to to try to tell a story with the limited amount of things i had in my potential so again thank you for those who did watch all of my episodic things because i like sometimes surprise myself like wait people actually watch this stuff um <laughs> But yeah, uh, sorry, that my, I didn't have the actual file, I guess, or the actual thing, so I can actually show you guys what what kind of went into the process of making episode one. But and I do know that the rest of the episodes I have files for that I can show off in Premiere Pro. It's like you know, here was the process of how I did this and this and this. 
So, with that being said, thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys next week for my thoughts on episode two.